In September 2016, a friend and I set off to Peru to take on the Salcante trek to Machu Picchu. What lay ahead was snowy mountains, winding jungle paths, mountain sickness, insect bites, ancient ruins, and hanging above a 300 foot drop. It really was the trip of a lifetime. We even made some friends along the way. The following is an account of our adventure. I hope you like it. Machu Picchu Day had arrived, and it was a very early start, as we stood in the bus queue in the dark and the rain. But that didn't matter. This is what we've been trekking for for the last four days, and nothing could dampen our mood. In such a happy way, come on, sing along. It's undeniable how a smile can change your view. So put a great big smile on you. There was already a queue when we arrived at the entrance gate, but it moved fairly quickly. And when we entered, the clouds almost immediately parted, and what we saw was better than any of the pictures or videos we'd seen of the place. It really is stunning. place wasn't exciting enough. There were wardens at viewpoints whistling and pointing if anyone stepped out of line. I got called out a few times for walking where I shouldn't have walked and touching what I shouldn't have touched. This, however, was deemed absolutely fine. Dan wanted to show some affection from Canada too. I actually think the lamb preferred him. Even Chris wanted some love. Oh, oh dear. And after a tour around the ancient site, it was time to say our last goodbyes to Ferdy, our guide, our mentor, and the leader of the Dark Llamas. He'd taken us as far as he could, but naturally, he couldn't leave before one final group picture. And with that, we were on our own, left to climb the last mountain ourselves. Our final trek together was to be Machu Picchu Mountain. That's this one. And for some reason, no one had told us that this was actually to be the toughest trek yet. Part of our journey, Machu Picchu Mountain. It's pretty tough.
That was intense. Tough walk, it is very sweaty. Some doctor just stopped me at the top of this mountain to point out how bad my legs were. <laughs> so it'll take two months to uh, to get them back to normal and recover. I don't think I've shown you my sand flea bites yet, have I? It got pretty bad. My own fault for not applying enough repellent. This is what they look like now, and this is what they will look like in about four days' time when I get home. Eh. Totally worth it. Do it all again. Heartbeat. I'm editing this now about a month later, and you know what? It's absolutely fine. Completely gone. <laughs> Made it. Just in time because it just started raining. Although, they have run out of water, and the guys are quite far behind. So, great walk. Very difficult. Uh, toughest one yet. The heat didn't help, but it's certainly worth it. Once we roll back down, we spent one final hour hanging out together at Machu Picchu. Either posing for pictures, or trying to get a selfie with a llama. He's not interested in a selfie. And just like that, it was time to go. We said our fond farewells to our token Canadians as they weren't travelling back with us and then we headed back to Aguas Caliente ready to catch our train home. I woke up to the first light of day Closed the door and I was on my way I was gone like the river I was gone like the river And a song Those who love me and those who care Will understand be there, I'll be gone like the river. While I was pretty bummed out our trip was over after saying goodbye to the rest of the team, I was so pleased with everything we'd seen and done during our time in Peru. It felt like weeks ago we were sleeping on the floor of Lima Airport, ready to start our adventure. Couldn't have asked for more. And when you think of it like that, it really is hard to stay bummed out for long. Say goodbye, I'll just be gone